Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be taking a look at the psychological aspect of trading, how the greatest opportunities arise when the majority of people are either fearful or ultra bullish. It's always at the extreme ends of the psychology scale where you get the absolute best opportunities. We could say this is happening right now on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and what I want to focus on today being Dogecoin. Uh, I've already done a, this is actually my third video of the day, <laughs> already done a Bitcoin update for the members, done an Ethereum video, and now I want to do Doge. Uh, so yeah, action pack day, and uh, yeah, I'm loving it. So uh, obviously, yeah, seeing Bitcoin head down at the moment, that's pretty nice. But this focus of the video is Doge. Even if you do not trade Doge, I still think this is going to be a video worthwhile watching because we're focusing on the psychology uh, primarily here, okay? So, 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 Dogecoin. Uh, why is this focused on psychology? What's happening on these charts? Well, as you all know, ladies and gentlemen, this is a coin which was, we can safely say, absolutely hyped up. What happened on this coin? Well, it's obviously a meme coin. It's totally run off of, uh, you know, it's, a, it's essentially a meme coin. But at the end of the day, that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. The thing that we trade is the technicals, yeah? So meme coin or not, at the end of the day, in my opinion, 99% of altcoins are meme coins. So whether we're looking at Ethereum or whether we're looking at uh, whatever altcoin you put a name on it, this is my honest opinion. 99% of altcoins are vaporware and going to zero. The vast majority of people who get wrecked in crypto are altcoin bag holders who buy into the fake dreams sold to them. Take care with hope. Take care with the hyped alts of the, or the snake salesmen, shall we call them, of the buy now before it's too late. Buy now, you know, it's going to take off without you. You're going to be living in regret. X, Y, and Z, you know, in my opinion, all scaling. But the moral of the story here is, well, personally, <laughs> basically, it doesn't matter what the, what the altcoin's called at the end of the day. We trade the technicals, but, you know, I still feel the majority of people in the, in the essentially in the altcoin industry are, you know, the majority of the people that lose are, are altcoin holders because they generally don't end well. But altcoins, let's talk about Dogecoin. Let's talk about the psychology on this one. So um, if you've been following along for, you know, a degree of time, I suppose, um, massive run up on Dogecoin. Obviously, we're talking about thousands percent gain. So naturally, of course, early, early investors, you know, early, people early into it have made a lot of money. I cannot deny that. <clears throat> But unfortunately, the majority aren't uh, buying it early. The majority are obviously buying up at the highs. So just remember that. But, you know, naturally uh, hitting up at around that thousand, one thousand sats on Dogecoin. That is, wow. Like I actually remember trading this a few years ago when it was literally, literally, literally trading at like 16 sats. So, yeah, to, to ever think that was hitting a thousand was I mean, yeah, I'm really happy to, for, for that to have happened. But, yeah, it's it's it was very, very crazy. You know, yeah, it told me two years ago, yeah, Dogecoin's trading at a thousand. I wouldn't have believed you, but <laughs> you know, this is the thing. Everything is possible in trading and that's why you like, that's why you have to love it. But what really happened up at the highs here? There were a few things that happened up at the highs, which I think you can take away from this video and just really remember. Point number one was the altcoin had reached extreme peak euphoria. Everybody you know, likely even people that don't trade were like oh i want to buy dogecoin you know people that had no interest at all in the space were like i want to buy dogecoin you had elon musk tweeting about dogecoin and then like oh man like some of the things that i read it was just incredible like oh yeah let's just say it was absolute peak euphoric times what happens in peak euphoric times if, if you're buying into the tops of these moves, of course you can make money, but you really got to be very tight on the stop losses, the money management side of things, because otherwise you will get wrecked. It's not a matter of if, it's when. It's when on these type of things. You will get wrecked if you just hold on to them. Um, you know, anyway, bringing it back to the technicals, overhyped, euphoric times. So what were the what were the technicals behind this one? Yeah, what were the technical analysis behind this? Well, Two things. One thing being the biggest thing for well, there's three things actually, I suppose we can go on. Number one, obviously, just the psychology in, in, in general. 
okay just euphoric times extremely extremely overextended you know point number one point number two it was the retest of this weekly fast move up into the week you have to remember this is a retest of the weekly of 33 percent in a few days coming up into the weekly but what was the biggest factor here okay what was the you know in my opinion anyway the biggest factor of course we also done a swing failure pattern of the prior highs so from a technical perspective it was there yeah retest of the weekly run the last highs for a swing failure pattern what was what was number one yeah what happened on the 2nd of june that caused the high on Bybit or on, on, on Dogecoin. Well, I, I kind of accidentally said it. It was the listing on Bybit. And, you know, this in retrospect, it was inevitable. And I, and I emphasize this and I show you this because it's literally just so absolutely true. Um, like Dogecoin was the coin we all really, really, really wanted to short. And so it was a matter of time of waiting for this to come to Bybit. OK, so, you know, month in advance was, you know, we're talking about waiting for it to come to buy bit to short it. <laughs> no TA to back it up. No, we just t the TA is CC pool short Dogecoin. Cannot wait for buy bit to list Dogecoin to short it. And then on the second when it actually happened, are we ready to short Doge? My reply was yes, <laughs> I'm in the short now. It's on the 2nd of June. So there's a few things that I think you need to write down to remember in the cryptocurrency space thing number one is always pay attention to that psychology uh, you know pay attention to the market what is the market feeling like right now i personally believe the market is ultra scared and fearful yeah eg this is the time to look for longs um <laughs> you know nudge nudge bitcoin ethereum very 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 uh sold off currently i, I have an ethereum video for you tomorrow uh, but yeah, just remember that when, when everybody is ultra euphoric, everybody is just not even acknowledging that this thing can come down. Everybody is just so focused on higher, 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 higher. And you will actually get laughed at for suggesting lower. Oh, this is kind of the time to be careful. No, I mean, this is what was happening at $65,000 now. Uh, and, and who short is $63,000, but I digress on that one, of course. Uh, but yeah, obviously, <clears throat> Dogecoin, the thing to take away, the psychology, man, like just pay attention to it. It's such a big factor of trading that you cannot underestimate. Of course, you do not trade solely off of this. We do want some technicals to back it up. But yeah, I, I, I feel that the reading the market, not just the charts, that's important. It's important to be able to read the charts, know what's going on here, know, you know, swing failure bands, running highs in the times of the end. Of course, that's an important part. But I actually truly believe that the reading the market in terms of the psychology, what's the average person thinking, you know, what emotions are flying through the market, which highs and lows are the liquidity resting against? This is such an underestimated part of trading, which is just absolutely integral to understand this truly in my opinion to make money uh and point you know the next point you want to write down is when an altcoin gets listed on bybit i uh, <laughs> it's game over for the altcoin of course i'm not necessarily suggesting it's game over for, for dogecoin here but this is a, a 50 percent move to the downside ladies and gentlemen and, and i'll show you this one because it's kind of funny the, the day second of june I thought it was really good because the day that we were waiting to short this for a month in advance, waiting and waiting for to short it, we had a third, you know, we had that run up into the week. Yeah, it just all came together absolutely perfectly. I'm not going to lie, but obviously it came together really well. Uh, took those shorts. I'll show you this in Discord in case you you might be in disbelief. Uh, <laughs> let's go on the Doge. That obviously, yeah, man, like we yeah, we were. Um, Oh man, I nearly missed the meme that I added to it. Let the games begin. Let the games begin absolutely first. And well, the game absolutely did begin. That was back on the 2nd of June, the day it literally listed on Bybit. Oh man, look at that. From, you know, you even had the opportunity to get in on the short, the, 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 the absolute high. So I'll zoom in and show you this because it's pretty funny. So the day it got listed, the 2nd of June, the high was not taken out. 
was not taken out. You could have even got into the short on the retest on the 3rd of June. Stop loss above the high. That's just a vision that you managed to get into this trade with us. Again, you would have probably had to have been in the group to have this confidence. But, um, you know, anybody that had the confidence, then, hey, this was, you know, let's talk about a 2% stop loss to even where we are now, where we can still expect lower. This is from the from the absolute lower 50% 50, 50 gain for a 2% stop loss above the high of the listing on Bybit. <laughs> that game was absolutely hilarious. That was a fun game, though. But uh, anyway, yeah, that, that's a bit, of a, a bit of a different video. And of course, of course, I'm talking about an epic short that we talk about. But the thing that I want you to remember here is, is it really boils down to re reading the technicals. And of course, we're looking against this up against the weekly the swing failure pattern. But also you have to recognize reading this market, reading the psychology, you know, reading the emotions that run through this market. So the real big things for me are reading the emotions and reading like where the liquidity is. I mean, here, look at this. Before the next downtrend, you also run the highs again. So it's like, you know, running highs, um, going for liquidity, uh, you know, viewing, you know, really, I, I want to say like going against what the vast majority of people think. Um, and so, you know, you have to remember if, if you're reaching a pivotal point in the chart and, you know, let's say we're in a range and, I like to think that the ranges are going to break when it's least expected. So if we're reaching the bottom of a range and everybody is expecting downside continuation, I would like to see a move up before the downside. Why? Because everybody that's switching bearish at the lows will essentially miss out before the actual big move. So um, let's keep our eyes on Bitcoin and ETH. I have got an ETH video. I don't know whether to upload that as well today or might just do it tomorrow. But um yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Yaron here, who uh, I got it. You could you could read this incomparable insights into trading. No one even comes close to Daniel's analysis. Was even more uncanny is the profound understanding of the human psychology behind the charts. But you know, you know, I just say this because I just really want you to fully understand that reading the psychology and emotions is just as important as being able to read the charts. Yeah, it's just as important. So. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how this fares for Bitcoin because I truly believe that, you know, people are very, very bearish right now. Uh, so do they get run before the drop? That would be nice, no? Uh, <clears throat> I would absolutely love that. So anyway, this video, if you've enjoyed, hey, you can give it a like if you'd like. And uh, maybe if we get, I don't know thousand likes i released the ETH video today if not i'll release it tomorrow i do say the i do say the trade i'm in on it <laughs> so if you'd like to know that information um and obviously bitcoin i might do a live stream talking about bitcoin obviously i've already done one for the members today but um yeah, i could talk about bitcoin what we you see here a bit of a free valleys yeah this period are pretty interesting so i could do a live stream on this maybe if people want it um but yeah, anyway, I need to end the video. 12 minutes. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Oh, no, actually, no, before I end, I need to, of course, no, even though I haven't really talked about a trade per se, but nevertheless, legal disclaimer, no financial advice, entertainment, educational video only. And uh, yeah, if you've been entertained by this, you can happily give a like to the video. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can see if the psychology runs again on the market. And uh, we get to run some highs. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This was a nice video to end with, wasn't it? Seeing little Doge in the garden. <laughs> Shorted Doge on by a bit and long on Doge in real life. Isn't this the better Doge? You have to agree. Isn't this the better Doge? This is this is the, the Doge we all love. She will never betray us. We love you, don't we? You good girl, are you? Yes, 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 yes. You want a belly rub. <laughs> <laughs> she loves the belly rub anyway ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna go thank you ever so much have a brilliant day and goodbye cheers